So is that a good? So I can hear you, but you just take it a bit, of, <coughs> take it a bit away from your mouth. Okay. Um, in my experience, it's like this: when you when you wake up from this illusion, and sometimes drop back into this illusion, that, that the body seems, this body illusion seems to be like a big memory card, like like all the stories are like like. I don't know how to say that. Um, they are like in your body, and sometimes yeah. they can can come up. They always happen. Some some unconscious ones also, and when yeah. the conscious ones are gone, the unconscious ones come up, and they are one, sometimes much more intense than anything, and you don't know yeah. what's going on, and this can even be painful sometimes on a physical level. And just let's be clear here. You're talking about what's happening there. You can't generalize and say that this is what okay. happens. Okay. Okay. That's what's really happening. Was there. Like this. Yeah, for this illusion it was like this. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. And I have the feeling that this is still going on and I'm still I mean I know on the one hand it's an illusion, but on the other hand Oh knowing it's an illusion doesn't make any difference. <laughs> it's still what seems to be happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so can can you say that no. on <laughs> No, there is no process, but there is something that seems to happen, and often when an opening to this or an awakening happens, then, as I told you before, the me comes back and fights for its life, because it somehow recognizes that maybe it's got to do that, to stay there, because now, you know, me hates this message because it's about the end of me. So if, if somehow there's an opening, to the possibility that there is no one, then me comes back and fights, brings all its guns out. But not every time, not with everyone. You can never say that's a rule. For some people, nothing much happens at all in what I would call the apparent awakening period. Of course, there is no awakening period and there's no process happening, but that's what seems to happen. Me, me will hold on to itself in whatever way it can regardless of seeking or awakening or not, because that's what it seems to do. It wants to survive. When there's an opening to this, it will fight to survive. And it may still survive in that body for the rest of its apparent life. And it may not. But there's nothing that can be done, and it's not a process. In the end, if that me suddenly collapses, it's seen that what you just described never happened.